All right, patch E is live, and that's got some changes to the Lake of Calandra, which is mostly just splinter stuff, but there's also this line that says, increase the chance for imprisoned monsters to have additional essences and essence reflections at all difficulties, so that's pretty good. I assume that'll be nice for anybody that's farming that. And then we got the harvest changes that we were expecting, though they're still not addressing at all the absence of the crafts that the big boys need to make the cool mirrored items and all that, so. Bum deal there, but they have reduced the cost on a lot of these crafts, and so I assume that'll make it feel better for people that are still playing. And then the big thing, though, is we got another post titled Nerfing Defensive Arch Nemesis Modifiers, and this is another forthcoming patch, and they did give us a pretty decent list of modifiers that are going to be tuned down a little bit. That is going to nerf Headhunter, so we'll have to see how that plays out, but... Overall, this looks like a pretty good change. And then at the very bottom, we get this line, tomorrow we will post an explanation of what our intentions were with the balance changes in this expansion and what went wrong with our process. We're sorry for the delay on this. It's been a bit of a week. So yeah, I bet you're having a pretty shitty week. I imagine that it's been a terrible week. But uh, sympathy levels are quite low because I still think that this language is way less um, action-based than I would expect. You would imagine that they would at least be giving us some indication that they were gonna actually address the stuff that people are complaining about to the letter. Not from the side, not in a in a way, not a little percentage of this or that, but actually address where, what are we gonna do about the fact that people feel like crafting is dead at the top end? What are we gonna do about the fact that people feel like juicing is completely worthless because you lose money if you do the stuff that most players that get past the out and go phase of their of their strategy, if they choose to go past that, it's worthless to do so now. If they don't address those things, I don't see I don't see anything big changing. And so I'm gonna try whatever they end up releasing and I'll come back with another video. I I just don't have very high expectations because what this language tells me is they're willing to explain why they made the changes they made and they're gonna again they're probably gonna do another patch or two and tune things up a little bit from where they are now but it really does sound like this might just be the the way path of exile is for the foreseeable future all right that's all i've got for you today i will see you guys in the next video if you're enjoying the content please do hit that like and subscribe button i appreciate you